Okay, I'd like to uh, acknowledge all the uh, University of Calgary graduates today. And it's our way as uh, Indigenous people, Blackfoot people, to start with a smudge. So I'm going to light my smudge to acknowledge all the gifts from Creator today. Uh, and all the graduates that are graduating today. It's our way to light our smudge and acknowledge everybody with sanctified kindness. I is to bad to be. I or not be not do. Oh, kitans kachima dan krishka not on you. Oh, krishka quick. I is pum muki na na psito ke gago krishka tumo yam sriki. I get krishka ni ma chao anik na anik kamutanik na tua. I spum was how she pat a beer pan hakumadapi a puya, one ka agagus chicken match, and ampitayaki to tap put tax pia, but I can stipat a peer pia. I spum was how she pat a peer. I got his catumoya kamutan, axi pat a peer. I just like to congratulate all the graduates today. I know this going through school. Going through university has been a hard challenge. And today we're moving ahead. You're finished that learning, you're finished that commitment, a commitment of time and your efforts. Now you're done. Now we can go and do our whatever journey you're going on. You're ready to start. I just want to say to our indigenous grads, our grandparents would say our children are going to school. They're going to That's the university. And one day they'll come home and will live a good life. Today, as you graduate, I see that those words coming true that the elders talk about. Congratulations to all of you from Rose and I, and i just like to thank you for the opportunity to address, to say your opening prayer. Hun, thank you.
Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Deborah Yedlin, Chancellor of the University of Calgary, and I declare this convocation officially convened. Before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional territories of the people of the Treaty 7 region in southern Alberta, which includes the Blackfoot Confederacy, comprising the Siksika, Pakani, and Kanai First Nations, as well as the Tutsina First Nation and the Stony Dakota, including the Chiniki, Bearspaw, and Wesley First Nations. The City of Calgary is also home to Métis Nation of Alberta Region 3. I would also like to note that the City of Calgary is situated on land adjacent to where the Bow River meets the Elbow River, and that the traditional Blackfoot name of this place is Mokinsis, which we now call the City of Calgary. I'm so proud to be here celebrating our graduating class of 2021, and I do wish we were all gathered in person. I love being part of you Calgary's convocation, a moment so steeped in tradition and formality, and yet filled with such unbridled energy. Energy created over years of dedicated study and then unleashed into a world of possibilities, a world of uncertainty. You could say, for the class of 2021, the pandemic has made your energy unique. You have not been able to follow the usual academic path leading to convocation today. The molecular structure has been altered. In the last year and a half, conventional thinking has been challenged and you have changed. Adapted to online learning, found new ways to collaborate and communicate and become more resilient. You have acquired skills you probably don't recognize that you've got, but you will. Like other unexpected and catastrophic events throughout world history, the pandemic has accelerated the pursuit of progress and forever changed our society. In 1914, airplanes were rare and delicate, but when World War I broke out, scientists and engineers collaborated on technology to make them stronger and faster, much more like the commercial planes we fly today. The horrible injuries inflicted on World War I and World War II soldiers drove medical innovation forward. Blood donation and storage were invented. New surgeries were developed to, develop, to treat physical trauma. The commercial production of penicillin was prompted for all its costs, and those costs must not be understated. Widespread calamity is also a catalyst for advancement. In just over a year, we have left 10 years ahead in terms of how we learn and work. Before the pandemic, people were only talking about the technological adaptations that we've now made, and in some cases overnight, 
changes to keep each other safe, stay connected, continue learning, and to keep contributing. A year ago, we had no idea if a COVID-19 vaccine was even possible. In an unprecedented period of collaboration, scientists set their personal ambitions aside for the betterment of humanity and led us here to the brink of a conclusion for this period in history. Millions are being vaccinated around the world. But a conclusion does not mean a return to the beginning of the story, a return to normal, because normal didn't serve everyone, did it? Now we see more clearly some of the barriers people face, people of color, low-income populations, people with diverse physical or mental health needs. Normal wasn't working. Soon this massive disruption will be behind us, but we have been changed. We have learned how to share more, use less, slow down, and be kinder. Our world is rebooting, and right now we have a head start toward a better future. The catch is where we end up 50 years from now is up to you and the positive disruptions that you lead. As John F. Kennedy said, we choose to do things not because they're easy, but because they're hard. The challenge of addressing climate change is your generation's moonshot, full of promise, potential, and impact. But it won't be easy. As Mark Hartley Carney has recently said, transitioning easy energy systems will be hard. Improving cities so that they are more inclusive is going to be hard. Transforming education to blend synchronous and asynchronous learning is going to be hard. There are so many things that are works in progress, but we should never run away from something that is challenging or disruptive. Graduates, I said your energy is unbridled, and I meant it. You are not constrained by the letters in your degree. You have a toolkit full of skills we need to make our communities better. I graduated with an English degree, and my career has taken me from Wall Street to the newsroom and some incredible places in between. Like all of you, my university education taught me to analyze, synthesize, and communicate. And those abilities turned my BA into be anything. The world of tomorrow is about adaptability and pushing the limits of what's possible in yourself and in the people and systems around you. Your potential is immense and with a commitment to understanding, it will only grow. You will never understand everything, but you can work to understand a lot. In earning your degree, you have become an expert in something. Share your expertise, but stay open to collaborations and partnerships that will broaden your point of view and increase your power and potential to make change. The author, disability rights advocate, and political activist Helen Keller once said, alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. Graduates, find and pe keep people in your life who inspire you to be bold and take action for what you believe in. You may already have found some of those individuals during your time at UCalgary. You are a special class of graduates, embarking on your next chapter at the same time the whole world is turning the page on the pandemic. So many opportunities await you, and I know you will make the most of all of them. Congratulations to the class of 2021. I now invite President and Vice Chancellor Ed McCauley to come forward to address the convocation. Thank you for that wonderful address, Chancellor Yedlin. And to all of the graduates joining us online he from here in Calgary, across the province, in Qatar and beyond, welcome. It is an honor to celebrate with you today. And we are so incredibly proud of what you have accomplished. Congratulations to all of you. Chancellor Yedlin spoke of how you are embarking on the next chapter, of how you are continuing your story during a time like any other in our world history. This is a narrative of leadership, compassion, excellence, and courage. And it's a story that you've established right here at the University of Calgary. During your time with us, we've seen you champion the values of inclusion and respect. An excellent example is Savannah Poirier Hollander. Savannah graduates with a Bachelor of Education and a clear commitment to fostering relationships based in trust, 
respect, and reciprocity. During her studies at the Workland School of Education, Savannah received an award through the Program for Undergraduate Research Experience. She used this opportunity to benefit communities, creating a virtual medicine plant guide for students, connecting with Indigenous elders, and deepening her understanding of the reciprocal relationship between nature, people, and with the land. These experiences were especially valued by Savannah as a Cree Métis woman. Going forward, she aims to continue building strong relationships that ensure no student feels left out or left behind. Congratulations, Savannah. Graduands, we also have seen you seek out new knowledge and forge meaningful connections. Ji Yi Xin Liu, or Jessica, is one such leader. She graduates with a BA Honors in Economics and a BSc in Computer Science. Jessica has connected with knowledge across disciplines, earning multiple awards for academic excellence and contributing to research for organizations such as the Alberta Energy Regulator and the National Autonomous University of Mexico in Mexico City. She's channeled these strengths to help others, finding ways to connect authentically through a love of learning and exploration. Jessica has served in leadership roles for the Society of Undergraduates in Economics and a volunteer organization to support Syrian refugee families called Pangea, Connecting Humanity. In the process, she's created a positive impact on her colleagues fellow students, children and refugee families, and so many others. Congratulations, Jessica. When faced with critical issues in our society, graduands, you've contributed innovative scholarship to tackle these challenges. Christy Miles is another example of this impact and thought leadership. Christy graduates with an MA in geography and a keen interest in enhancing our understanding of novel science and technologies. As part of her research thesis, funded by Genome Canada, Christy examined the process of genomic selection to improve tree breeding. She applied transdisciplinary scholarship to explore how social ideas can influence the development and use of this technology. In another project, funded by the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council, Christy was the first social science student to contribute to a program on gene editing for food security and environmental sustainability. And she's committed and continued this leadership in her current work with Editing Nature, an organization uh, that engages communities on the responsible use of genomics technologies. Congratulations, Christy. Graduands, we have also seen you develop unique solutions and enterprises to meet unaddressed needs in our community. And a fantastic example is Monica Opel. Monica graduates with a Bachelor of Commerce in Organizational Behavior and Human Resources. She's won multiple honors for her achievements as a leader in HR and sustainability. In 2016, Monica founded a student club called Suit Up to address the need for affordable professional attire. The club provides professional clothes to students at a discounted price and in uses the proceeds to give back to community programs. Monica has collected hundreds of pounds of clothing, raised large donations from the proceeds, and earned a prestigious 2020 Sustainability Award for her efforts. She continues to make a difference through her work with a global social enterprise called Innovative Canadians for change. Congratulations, Monica. These stories are joined by countless others, from the nursing students who served at the front lines in Qatar, in Calgary, and in rural communities, to the many other leaders, volunteers, mentors, and contributors from every faculty, lending their skills to help others and make a difference. Graduands, you have created an incredible legacy at the University of Calgary, and I know 
that your impact will only continue to grow in the years ahead. You are now part of an alumni family more than 190,000 strong. A network of fellow leaders who share your same commitment to transforming our world for the better. And we cannot wait to see what you will achieve next, and we wish you every success. And as we celebrate this milestone with you today, we have a very special tribute that we'd like to share. We know, unfortunately, that it's been a while since some of you have been here on campus. You may feel that you have some unfinished business here. And thankfully, Rex was eager to help fulfill the wishes of some students who shared what they would do with a normal day on campus. Let's see how Rex did in this video for the class of 2021. If I could spend one more time uh, on campus before graduating, I would have loved to go to Den and uh, have one of their nachos after, after my classes. One thing that I would do is go to the first Thursday of the year. If I had one more day on campus, I would go spin the zipper in Science Theaters for good luck. If I had one more day on campus, I would want to be in the Jack Simpson gym, serving a volleyball and playing the sport that I love. I would hang out in the Kinesiology Student Society office with my friends. I would go back to Eel, find my favorite fume hood and get down with some chemistry one more time. If I had one more day on campus, I would go get an iced coffee and a muffin from Bruin Blends. Bruin Blends. Bruin Blends. Bruin Blends. If I had one more day left on campus, you could probably find me hanging out at the squat rack at the UFC gym. I would probably try to go and have uh, one big final track meet with uh, my track team or some sort of fun competition. If I could spend one more day on campus, I would have actually purchased that hoodie I spent so many days looking at. I would love to be able to sit in on a final lecture and sit right in the middle of the lecture hall and be able to have everybody file in around me as class begins. So if I had one last day on campus, I think the first thing I would do would be to go to Bake Chef uh, and get a spicy beef sub without cilantro. I'd probably go to Korean Barbecue House. I would like to go to Mac Hall to get fuel for gold for breakfast one last time. If I could have one more day on campus, I would like to spend an afternoon at the Writing Symbols Lodge in the peace and tranquility of the student lounge area. The library TFPL, and then head over to the first floor and start studying. 
I really miss that. I would love to sit in the atrium. 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 I would definitely try and take a nap at one of the big study tables in the basement of the law library. So I like to hang out with my friends, go to Starbucks, get a bath of coffee. You could have one last experience on campus to definitely be that sense of relief you feel after final exams and that sheer excitement of no, not knowing what's coming next, but just being ready for it. That's one experience I'd like love to have again. If I could have one last experience on campus, it would be walking the stage with my classmates. I wish I could cross the stage and get my degree. Walk across the stage with my fellow classmates. I wish I could walk across the stage in my moccasins to collect my parchment paper. Convocating with my friends and crossing the stage of graduation. Walk the stage to get my degree to walk across the stage. It was my dream to walk down the stage for a convocation ceremony and um, I wish I could do that. Thank you, Rex. And congratulations again to our class of 2021. It's now my pleasure to introduce two of the highest honors that we bestow at our university. The Order of the University of Calgary, which honors those within our community who have brought great esteem to the university, and the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa, which is bestowed upon individuals who made notable achievements and community service who merit recognition. Earlier this week, Chancellor Yellen and I were delighted to bestow these honors and share the stories of such remarkable leaders in our community. The university draws its strength from its community, its students, its faculty, its staff, and its alumni. We honor those who contribute to the success of this community with the Order of the University of Calgary. Robert, or Bob Maber, is a deserving recipient of the order. Bob's 14 years of service to our university have been marked by resilience and excellence in the face of crisis. As a director of emergency management, he has consistently been a positive advocate for the university while also building relationships in the wider community. Bob has led our university's emergency response through several major incidents. Beginning in 2013, when Calgary experienced the one in a hundred year flood. He was instrumental in leading our crisis management response, including shutting down the entire campus, mobilizing over a thousand volunteers, and taking in 1,800 evacuees from Calgary and High River, among many, many other tasks. In 2016, Bob once again managed a large-scale emergency situation as the municipality of Wood Buffalo was evacuated during the wildfires. On very short notice, Bob organized housing for over 1,400 people who were displaced by the fires. Then, there's been the crisis of the past 15 months as we faced a myriad of challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic. In a climate of incredible uncertainty, Bob assembled a COVID-19 task force of experts and worked tirelessly to keep people safe. His influence has spanned all aspects of our COVID-19 response, from creating the Campus Safety Guide to bringing students and faculty home from abroad to supporting procedures to help sick staff and students. In channeling this expertise, and sharing data, Bob also served as a valuable partner to the Calgary Emergency Management Agency and the O'Brien Institute for Public Health. He has guided our community through a difficult period with a focus on evidence-based decision-making and keeping people informed. Through his extraordinary commitment, leadership, adaptability, and critical thinking, Bob has been an invaluable member of our team. Eminent Chancellor, I present to you Robert Maber, a true citizen 
of the University of Calgary. And I invite you to admit him as a member of the Order of the University of Calgary in recognition of his exemplary and distinguished service to our university. It is my great pleasure to now admit you, Robert Maber, as a member of the Order of the University of Calgary. Congratulations. I am delighted to highlight another member of our community who has brought great honor to the university. Saifa Kunar is a deserving recipient of the Order of the University of Calgary. Saifa is the president and CEO of the Alberta Children's Hospital Foundation, elevating this foundation to a position of influence across Canada and North America. She played a key role on the team that spearheaded the construction of the new Alberta Children's Hospital, the first freestanding pediatric facility to be built in Canada in 20 years. Saifa also helped inspire our community to invest in the creation of Rotary Flames House, Alberta's first pediatric hospice, and in the Center for Child and Adolescent Mental Health, which is set to open next year and is the first center of its kind in Calgary. Saifa is dedicated to making sure that families have the best in care for their physical and mental health. To this end, she has shown tremendous commitment to advancing innovation and research. Through partnerships with Alberta Health Services and the University of Calgary, SAFE has been part of establishing the Alberta Children's Hospital Research Institute, the Center for Health Genomics and Informatics, the New Cancer Research Lab, the Integrated Concussion Research Program, the Oworko Center, and the Virodell Children's Pain and Rehabilitation Center. These strong partnerships have benefited children and families through world-class research in areas such as genomics, cancer, and brain health. Thanks to the generosity of our community, the Alberta Children's Hospital Foundation has committed more than $188 million to child health research in the past 10 years alone. Saifa also brings a lot of pride to our campus family as a double alumna. She holds both a Bachelor of Commerce and a Master of Business Administration from the University of Calgary. Drawing on her exemplary leadership skills and business acumen, Saifa has fostered opportunities and built lasting community connections, ensuring brighter futures for all. Her dedication has helped improve the health outcomes for thousands of sick and injured children and their families. As a distinguished alumna and respectful leader, Saifa has embodied the vision of our university, changing lives through the better, through great ideas and strong collaborations. Eminent Chancellor, I present to you Saifa Kunar, a true citizen of the University of Calgary. I invite you to admit her as a member of the Order of the University of Calgary in recognition of her exemplary and distinguished service to our university. It is my great pleasure to admit you, Saifa Kunar, as a member of the Order of the University of Calgary. Congratulations. Today, it's also my privilege, Eminent Chancellor, to present to you Marnie McBean, a three-time Olympic gold medalist and member of the Canadian rowing team. Marnie has represented our country with distinction. She's one of just two Canadians to win three Olympic gold medals at the Summer Games. The other is her longtime rowing partner, Kathleen Heddle. During her rowing career, Marnie has won a total of 12 world and Olympic medals, showing a remarkable talent 
a fierce commitment to excellence and the ability to work as a team towards a common goal. Following her spectacular rowing career, Marnie served as a mentor to several Canadian Olympic teams, preparing athletes for their rigorous physical and emotional demand of elite athletic performance. As the chef de mission for Calgary's team at the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo, Marnie has also been a champion of diversity. She has advocated for open dialogue and safe spaces where athletes can feel comfortable to express their full selves. As an ambassador for Team Canada and a mentor to young athletes, Marnie has a prof had a profound impact on the culture of Olympic sports. She's a member of the Canadian Olympic Hall of Fame and Canada Sports Hall of Fame. Marnie has received the Governor General's Meritorious Service Medal and the Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medal. She has also been appointed as an officer of the Order of Canada. And in recognition of her incredible international career, Marnie has earned the Thomas Keller Medal from World Rowing. Through her commitment to supporting the success of young athletes and her championship of diversity, inclusion, and human rights, Marnie is an incredible role model. Eminent Chancellor, on behalf of our Senate and University, I invite you to invest Marnie McBean with the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. I admit Marnie McBean to the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa and grant her all the rights and privileges, powers and responsibilities pertaining to this degree. Congratulations. I'm now happy to present to you a video address from Marnie McBean. Thank you so much for this honor, Chancellor Yedlin, President Macaulay. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Wow, what a year it's been. Uh, we've talked so much about resiliency. I don't wanna go there. I wanna talk about the creativity that we've had to really tap into for the last year. And it's been what's gotten us through this thing. And what you should be most proud of is that you didn't wait. You didn't wait for us to be through the pandemic, for the lights to come on, for us to have the freedoms of moving around. You figured it out. And this is the life lesson that you'll be able to take forward through your whole life. We apply it in sport. Someone is always gonna win in terrible conditions. And you have, you have succeeded in this really extraordinary year. As, I, as you go through this year, remember all that you've done. As ambitious people, you have always had an incredible to-do list, right? That's what we do. We have a to-do list and we're like doing them all the time. We're always focused on our to-do list. In this year of creativity, we've had to be very aware of our done list. And what's that? Well, we've always had those things in our to-do list. When we check them off, we check, what have you done with all of those things you've accomplished? Always, all, all the programs you've taken, all the high school, all the extracurriculars, all the social opportunities, all these different things you've done and you've checked them off on your to-do list. Well, those checks are still yours. They're your tools and they've been in your done pile, in your done list. Never let go of that. Always have this awareness of, our, our, of your done list and create things that you can always do. And that's what you've done through this year. You've done a lot and make sure you take that always forward with you as your life tools. Never let go of all the creative things that you've done this year to figure it out and throughout your entire career here at University of Calgary. As you've gone through this year, we've all had to uh, start and listen to hard conversations, right? Sometimes the hardest part about a conversation is starting it, but once you're in it, you're in the process of getting things better, of getting things done. Listen to critical feedback. Never let go of that. As students, we crave critical feedback, right? But then as you move on, we kind of get the sense that as we accumulate success and experience, we're not supposed to get that anymore. Stay curious, be curious to try, be curious to make some mistakes, be curious, but by starting and listening to hard conversations, that's how you figured out you've been resilient, but that's how you figured out what you need to do to be creative and to move forward. And most importantly through this year, 
You haven't waited to understand that you are the somebody that you're waiting for. I used to talk to athletes. Well, I, I still talk to athletes. And I remember once I was trying to come up with a message. What should I say? What should I say to this, this group of, of motivated athletes who are just trying to get hard things done? And I was, had a bit of writer's block and I was doing my laundry and I, I, I picked up, I did the laundry in the basement and I picked it up and I carried it to somewhere else and I put it down and I dropped a sock. And I looked down at the sock and I thought, oh, somebody will get that. And I went and I made myself a coffee and I walked past the sock and I'm, there's a sock. And you know what? Somebody will pick that sock up. I walked past that sock for almost two and a half days expecting somebody to pick it up. And then I realized I'm the only person who lives in this house. I was living alone at the time. I was missing that opportunity because I was the somebody I was waiting for. As you go forward and you've done this over the last year, you've known you've been the somebody, but take this degree that you have, this degree that you've earned, nobody's given you anything. And you have known you are the somebody who's gonna get it for you. You are the somebody you need to rely on. You are the somebody who can be a good teammate you are the somebody who can be a good classmate. You are the somebody who can be a leader. You are the somebody who can have success and happiness. Pick up the socks around you. Pick up the opportunities that are around you. You are the one who's gonna push you onto the podium. Congratulations, and again, thank you for this honor. I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful, and uh, have, have a wonderful, uh, opening up of the pandemic and I look forward to uh, hearing about all of your celebrations. Congratulations, Marnie. Several weeks ago, President Macaulay and I were privileged to visit Ken Stevenson at his home to grant his honorary degree in person. We'd like to share a short video of that occasion with you now. The University of Calgary awards honorary doctorates. This is our university's highest academic honor. An honorary doctorate is bestowed upon individuals whose notable achievements and community service merit recognition. Eminent Chancellor, I present to you Mr. Kenneth Stevenson, a serial entrepreneur, businessman, and philanthropist. Mr. Stevenson has helped revolutionize diagnostic cardiovascular medicine. His vision to support the creation of the Stevenson Cardiovascular MR Center at the University of Calgary's Cummings School of Medicine has transformed the approach to cardiovascular diagnosis and care, making the University of Calgary a world leader in this field. In addition to his support for the MR Center, he also backed the development of cardiac diagnostic software through his founding role with Circle Diagnostics a Calgary healthcare IT company. This software is used in 1,500 hospitals in 40 countries and benefits more than 7 million people every year. His efforts to establish Circle stand as a testament to the impact that can be created when the private sector works with academia to generate technology that can be used for the health and well-being of the global population. On behalf of the Senate and the University, I invite you to invest Mr. Kenneth Stevenson with the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. I admit you, Mr. Kenneth Stevenson, to the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa and grant you all the rights and privileges, powers and responsibilities pertaining to this degree. Congratulations. Congratulations to Robert Maber, Saifa Kunar, Ken Stevenson and Marnie McBean. We're delighted to recognize your impact on our community, and we're deeply proud to count you as part of the University of Calgary family. Please join me in celebrating our newest members of the Order of the University of Calgary 
and recipient of the degree Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. It is now my pleasure to introduce our new Provost and Vice President Academic, Teresa Balzer, to address convocation. This ceremony is first and foremost a celebration of your success, and deservedly so, for you are an impressive group. We would like to call out some of our graduates for special recognition who, as students, excelled in their studies and co-curricular activities to the point where they are singled out as medal winners. The details of the medals we are awarding, along with the names and bios of the medal winners, can be found on the special recognition page of the Convocation website and in the Digital Convocation program. Graduands, please prepare for the conferring of your degrees. Eminent Chancellor and President, on behalf of the faculties of the university, I present the 2021 graduands. I ask that they be pledged and admitted to the University of Calgary degrees that they have earned. As a graduate of this university, you join a worldwide kinship of educated persons who have earned opportunities and responsibilities of leadership and service in their chosen communities. To recognize this affinity, we invite each graduate to join with the thousands who have gone before in making the University of Calgary Graduates Pledge. The pledge is not an oath, but is a solemn expression of your intention to apply your learning and experience positively for the widest benefit. It's now my pleasure to introduce our distinguished graduate, Dan Allard, who will lead the Graduates Pledge. Dan holds a Bachelor of Commerce from the Haskane School of Business. After leading a successful career in landscape construction and commercial real estate, Dan co-founded the Golden Garden Beverage Company. In addition to his leadership as an entrepreneur and his service as the chair of the Inglewood Business Improvement Area, Dan is also a talented musician. He's performed at numerous festivals and events, including the Vancouver 2010 Winter Olympic Games. Please join me in welcoming Dan Allard to lead the Graduates Pledge. Graduands, please follow along and also read aloud. When we finish, you will all say along with me, this is my pledge. As a graduate of the University of Calgary, wherever my life may take me, I will use my knowledge, experience and skills to the best of my ability for the well-being of my communities and for the advancement of learning and the public good. I will conduct myself with honesty and integrity, taking responsibility for my actions and respecting the rights, opinions, and dignity of all people. I will maintain my competency and keep abreast of developments in my chosen fields. I will strive to better my communities through good citizenship and active participation. I will be a loyal ambassador for my university and will seek to promote its welfare and maintain its reputation. I will honor all who have shared their knowledge with me and will in my turn share my knowledge and experience with those who enter my field or come under my direction. In all my dealings, I will endeavor to be known as a person of honor and repute, ever seeking to earn the peace of good conscience. This is my pledge. By the authority of the statutes of Alberta and upon the recommendations of our faculties, I admit you to the University of Calgary degrees you have earned and grant you the rights and privileges, powers and responsibilities pertaining to those degrees. Congratulations, you've done it. Hello, my name is Robin Yates. I'm the Dean and Vice Provost of Graduate Studies. During their time at the University of Calgary, graduate students not only acquire knowledge through their own learning, they distribute knowledge through teaching activities. They also mobilize and translate knowledge through interactions with the community and with industry. Most notably, many of them create new knowledge through their original research. Now more than ever, we need innovators, entrepreneurs, and leaders in every discipline and in every profession. Graduates, you are poised to make a difference in these uncertain times. 
While sole graduate students are registered with the Faculty of Graduate Studies, their academic homes are in the Faculty of Study. As such, it gives me great pleasure to join my colleagues across the university to honor the recipients of graduate credentials here today. Eminent Chancellor, by the authority of the Council of Graduate Studies, we have the honor to present the class of 2021. Graduates, family members, you have made it. 2021, it's been a hell of a year, hasn't it? You have done remarkable work in all of your classes, your courses, and you're as ready as you're ever going to be to emerge from a great university and go out into the world. So I wanna be the first to congratulate you on your degrees. We are incredibly proud of each and every one of you. And I'd like to take a moment now and ask the MD graduates of 2021, wherever you are now listening to this, I want you to stand up and I want you to recite after me the Hippocratic Oath, something that every physician does. And I'd like to also offer this to any family members who are physicians. If you wanted to take a chance and renew your oath, this is the time to do it. It's important for all of us. The words are meaningful. They, they express what it is to be a physician. And especially in a time like this where we're suffering a global pandemic, we need compassionate and caring physicians. So graduates, new doctors, repeat after me. Now being admitted to the profession of medicine, I solemnly pledge to consecrate my life to the service of humanity. I will give respect and gratitude to my deserving teachers. And in my turn, I will teach and I will study. I will practice medicine with conscience and dignity. The health and life of my patient will be my first consideration. I will hold in confidence all that my patient confides in me. I will maintain the honor and the noble traditions of the medical profession. I will not permit consideration of race, religion, nationality, ideology, or social standing to intervene between my duty and my patient. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life. Even under threat, I will not use my knowledge contrary to the laws of humanity. These promises I make freely and upon my honor. Congratulations, doctors. Eminent Chancellor, by the authority of the Council of the Coming School of Medicine, we have the honor to present the graduating class of 2021. Thank you. Ahmad Abadaresk. Ali Abusheba. Haley Elizabeth Acton. Myrna Nabil Adley. David Matthew Agarwal. Salem Altuzeri. Liam Jeffrey Alexiak. Zaid Alinezi. Bader Al Harbi. Thomas Fraser Allen. Zara Al Matruk. Ahmed Amsasa Al Muzarwi. Khaled Al Muteri. Mustafa Rahim Al Saidi. Ali Al Wazan. Alita Grace Heather Anderson. Lena Delaney Anderson. Jonathan Sidney Ang. Amanda Lee Annette. G. Yoon Aponte Howe. Natalie Mizao Arnold. 
Emily L. Chidinma Loretta Ayadeono. Mufatal Imran Baghdadwala. Mufatal Imran Baghdadwala. Sahar Bakari. Daniel Robert Bailey. Jared Robert Baker. Mohammed Mehdi Banui. Joshua Banting. Nicole Orsi Barioni. Juan Carlos Barosio Para. Rachel Nadine Bath. Julia Marina Batiki. India Hana Park Bailey. Jamie L. Benham. Graham Randall Bennett. Sarah Nicole Benson. Miriam Berka. Lalit Baradwaj. Melody Ann Biet. Michael Paul Bloomfield. Jennifer Robin Bon Bernard. Jocelyn Brady. Ryan Albert Brenice. Alicia Ray Briggs. Aaron Victoria Britnell. Anita Brobe. Alyssa Therese Bruel. Moss Aria Bruton Joe. Emily Buchanan. Andrew Richard Sean Buckley. Nicole Elizabeth Burma. Nicole Elizabeth Burma. Fiona Burns. Paige Gwendolyn Burton. Austin Kabunok. Trisha Tia Katagan. Xingfang Tsai. Lauren Alyssa Campbell. Violet Marie Campbell. Dana Jeremy Zamora Caparanga. Leah Natasha Kaplan. Daniel Lyndon Carter. Matthew John Carter. Ashling Patricia Mary Cassavant. Audrey Champagne. Ryan Kawai Chan. Danielle Anastasia Chang. Dania Heather Chaudhry. Corbin Eric Chenger. Ashley C. Ying Cho. Natasha Chalowski. Ashley Chu. Sarah Coakley. Derek James John Cole. Lauren Alexandra Cole. Lauren Alexandra Cole. Cora Michaela Constantinescu. Alex Vincent Corrigan. James Wesley Crittenden. Kara Elizabeth Cruz. Hannah Marie Kerlock. Alexa Silver Curtis. Anthony Daniel Cusano. Irene Mary Daniel. Awatif Ibrahim Daoud. Mahmoud Dashti. Andreas Christian Doubter. Braden Kyle Davis. Nicole Elizabeth Day. Alexandra Raylene Debris. John Patrick Delphin. Aaron Nicholas Delorme. Christina Kathleen Musa Dennehy. Sarah Ann DeWitt. 
Tana Monjal Druva. Robert Michael Doherty. Emily Louise Downey. Carmen Maria de Souza. Jack Sujet Du. Jacques Petrus Dutois. Adrian David Zugalo. Joeria Batul Ikram. Natalie Farrell, England. Emeka Kingsley Inwere. Spencer Daniel Epp. Noah Eskindor. Rossman Esmail. Alexandria Evans. Tegan Aileen Evans. Rena Farr. Kimberly May Farrell. Yuan Xiao Feng. Alejandro Flores. John David Flyman. Megan Elizabeth Fry. Chun Kit Fu. Stephanie Chantel Gartner. Harlene Kor Gutora. Lydia Pauline Ginsberg. Brittany Jane Glowinski. Adam Thomas Gorner. Jennifer Yvonne Graff. Kristen Jennifer Granger. Ning Shi Gu. Keely Don Haight. Kennedy Ray Halbeck. Alan Wayne Hansen. Megan Ashley Hansen. Sydney Ann Harris. Ahmed Tarek Ahmed Hassan. Noor Hassan. Tabitha Jade Hawes. Kara Michelle Hawker. Justin Franz Arthur Halen. Julia Nicole Hyten. Laura Elizabeth Henderson. Brittany Harrington. Marissa Hogenkamp. Simone Leora Horwitz. Marianne Marjorie Robach. Natalia Infante. Fatima Iqbal. Abir Fayad Islam. Amy Catherine Jansen. Anushka Jerry. Nicholas Ryan Jett. Nicholas Ryan Jett. Suk Jun Michael G. Ilona Christine Jones. Norajot Kalsi. Sunand Nanjeswaran Kanapan. Josh Matthew Karyath. Sheena Tessie Karajema. Sakshi Kaur. Aaron Caitlin Kelly. Kyle Kemp. Grace Diane Joyce Kennedy. Aisha Khalid. Pranov Kosla. Rory Duncan Killam. Chad Michael Kimmett. Megan Danielle King. Alexander Joseph Kip. Alexander Joseph Kip. Adrian Klein. Adrian Klein. Jordan Christina Kosh. Caitlin Kors. Jamie McKenzie Kong. 
Jaeger Korchemagen, Aspen Marie Kozak, Felicia Erica Krausert, Liam James Cronland, Adabak Latif, Max Lazar Kurtz, Jamie Nicole Lecky, Amy Jacqueline Lee, Ryan Michael Lee, Stephen Zachary Lee, Alexandra Callie Lewis, Sixiao Lee, Aspen Brooke Lilywhite, Rebecca Erica Rose Lindsay, Ryan Paul Lintel, Rachel Elizabeth Lip, Crystal Sishian Liu, David Wesley Lowen, Hunter Cheyenne Von Kampen Lowen, Stuart Alexander Love, Danica Christine Ludlow, Chantel Lee, Danielle Christine Lynch, Danielle Christine Lynch, Emily Ann McDonald, Cameron David Alistair McKay, David Bruce McKay, Kelsey Taylor McQueen, Syed Nuhad Mahdi, Julia Marie Modil, Amit Krishan Manocha, Aliza Sherry Manicott, Kendra Renee Martel, Alana Margaret Martineau, Jasmine Priya Lynn Massey, Myrna Mata, Anastasia Marie Mayfield, Kimberly Ann Mayville, Kaylin Anjali McDonald, Brenna Janet McGillian, Sky McIntosh, William David John McLaren, Daria Merrick, Ruxin Mayo, Meredith Isabel Audrey Miller, Fati Isam Adli Mina, Nilofar Mirzadzir, Heather Moffat, Ishita Moge, Syed Ahmed Osman Mohammed Metwali, Emily Mostafi, Mohammed Amlish Munir, Caden August Murray, Taylor Kendall Mishik, Ifat Naim, Aruba Nasser, Labiba Nawar, Arpan Sharma Neopene, Brayden Newton, Vivian Nguyen, Rachel Nichols, Jocelyn Kaur Nijar, Kate Dominique Cruz Nuike, Isha Ober, Kyra Ivana Obligacion, Lucia Otero Varela, Kimberly Pakulanung, Armon Pande, Nira Patatia, Aaron Don Patterson, Marcus Francis Pahar, Gemma Percival, Tiffany Yasara Pereira, Kedra Ann Nasland Peterson, Avril Caroline Petrie, 
Tracy Aaron Pirog, Cassandra Pillay, Amy Lee Polzer, Danielle Marie Pollen, Sydney Amelia Potter, Madison Amelia Powell, Kate Pauline Pozzolo, Marl Pretorius, Baldeep Kaur Rai, Madiha Rana, Erica Nicole Reed, Tanaim Raymon, Caitlin Reich, Brenna Aaron Monroe Reimer, Laura Angela Rivera, Syed Anaz Rizvi, Zoe Aaron Rogers, Brooklyn Lee Roski, Angela Celeste Russell, Sky Russell, Dana Sandel, Kennedy Hannah Sandquist, Harleen Sangera, Christina Santa Maria Plaza, Peyton Quinn Sayers, Courtney Lynn Schubert, Courtney Lynn Schubert, Cassidy Alicia Schultz, Shalane Trené Cedras, Aaron Taylor Sellers, Laura Jane Sr. Chantel Marie Serwatkowicz, Samreen Shafiq, Divya Shah, Unati Manoj Sharma, Marta Shah, Marta Shah, Manal Salim Sheik, Manal Salim Sheik. Nazia Ali Sheikh, Paige Teresa Marie Shalami, Caitlin Lee Shuchuk, Kelly S. Shinkarak, Adam Joseph Shute, Harman Singh Sidhu, Joyce Singh, Alexander Norman Smith. Sonia Hyun So, Carmen Lisa Soltis, Ryan Barry St. James, Sally Joan Stanier, Leah Doris Stephen, Aaron Laurel Stevenson, Aaron Laurel Stevenson, Dana Yil Svistanya. Dana Yil Svistanyak, Andrew James Swift, Lucas Cyrus, Holly Elizabeth Shapansky, Helen Tam Tom, Clara Tapia Palacio, Elena Nicole Terpstra, Bethlehem Tesfe. Camille Elizabeth Thomas, Jessica Ria Chang, Jessica Ria Chang, Emma James To, Sarah Rebecca Taugus, Melanie Suzanne Trudeau, Wing Sung Yuan, Catherine Marie Tucker. Zachary Nicholas Urquhart, Marielle Giafred Oraz Lopez, Valentina Villamil, Rebecca Don Villabran Shirk, 
Ravine Kaur Verk. Mignon Visser. Dylan Carlton Vist. Gabrielle Olofsson Wagner. Kelsey Marie Wagner. Derek Michael Waldner. Derek Michael Waldner. Xing Wang. Yijun Wang. Rachel Ward. Rachel Ward. Michael Thomas Warren. Ty William Thomas Werbicki. Allison Werner. Sarah Ann Whiteside. Haley Marie Wickenheiser. Alina Michelle Whittup. Alexis Taryn Connett Wilson. Madeline Sarah Wilton Clark. Brittany Wayan Wong. Jonathan Vui Sun Wong. Melissa Miao Shin Wu. Natalie Wanting Wu. Alexander Arun Waima. Philip Wysakensky. Spencer Kenneth James Yakabak. Ron Z. Yang. Ron Z. Yang. Wendy Yao. Mariam Yakub. Matthew Edward Mark Young. Heather Young. Wensi Sapater Zablon. Sanya Nawab Zafar. Ava Zardinajad. Kasia Marie Zubkow. Graduates, during, during our time here today, we have recognized your years of dedication and commitment to your studies and extracurricular curricular activities. You've done it. You're officially University of Calgary alumni, a distinction you will carry with you for the rest of your lives. You've worked hard and we're so proud of all that you've accomplished, especially given the challenge presented by the pandemic. I am sure that as students, you had some difficult days when you struggled in isolation with your coursework and missed in-person time with professors and classmates and had to continuously remember to take yourselves off mute while you were participating in online classes. And yet here you are, celebrating your academic achievements. Through hard work and dedication, you have reached this important goal. It's a milestone for each and every one of you. I hope you will mark this occasion in every way you can. You'll have to be creative. It might be virtual and it might be with masks on, but don't forget to do something that will bring back the memories of your accomplishments in an instant. And reflect on those memories you've made along the way. As you continue on your journeys from here, take the time to acknowledge your ongoing accomplishments. I know there will be many and I can't wait to hear about them, so don't forget Stay connected. Congratulations to a graduating class like no other, the class of 2021. I declare this convocation closed. <laughs>